Hey guys, so I wanted to do a really quick tutorial based around some e.l.f. cosmetics which I got the other day and this is the main palette I'm going to be using which is called Punk Funk and it cost me £1.50 and the colours are super pigmented, they're like the pink, there's a pink, purple, blue and a white. The pink and the white, the pink is exceedingly shimmery, the white's quite shimmery and the other two kind of have a little bit of sparkle to them. Um, but it's really really good so I'm going to kind of do and talk as I go along. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that pink colour and I'm just going to use a fluffy dome brush just get some product on there and I'm going to put this on the eyelid sort of, I'm not going to go right into the inner corner whoops, something falling down off my bed there I'm not going to put it right into the inner corner and I'm just going to, I'm going to go just a bit above the crease there and I'm going to concentrate it very much on the first half of the eye sh eyelid because I'm going to be putting that purple in the second half so I just want it to really it's fringe out the way so I just want it to really be quite bright, quite vibrant and this camera is doing this colour no justice whatsoever because it's come out so much brighter than that then I'm going to do it on the other eye same principle So if you want to take it to about two thirds slash three quarters of the way down and just before the inner corner. And above the crease. So there you go. So there's the pink. Then I'm going to take the same brush. Um, hang on. I haven't done this one quite as high as the other one. I like to do my colours quite high because my eyes are quite small so it kind of shows the colour a bit easier. Then I'm going to take the purple with the same brush and that's going to go and concentrate it sort of on the outer half like there. I'm going to say an outer half, outer section there which hasn't been touched by the pink yet. I'm going to really, really press that in and then blend it into the pink. going to about halfway and a little bit into the top bit for the crease now I told you these were super pigmented and I think they definitely live up to their reputation I mean when I first got it I saw you know £1.50 super pigmented I think not but they really really are they're one of my favourite things I got from... I don't really know if I can have a favourite of things I got from e.l.f. Because, I mean, I got 30 quid worth of their products and they're all really, really amazing. Right, let's do that on the other eye. Just really push it into the, the crease area there. And just really blend it in. And if you find you have to put more pink on, like, sort of to get the right balance, then go for it. Because I do want this to be a very pinky look. And I found the purple's kind of overtaking it at the moment. It's like it's a race or something. It's crazy. I'm actually going to take a clean brush which doesn't have the purple on it for the pink. I'm just going to take uh, this fluffy sort of brush here. I have no idea where I got it from. It's probably from a set somewhere. I'm just going to press that pink on. Just and really blend the two in. There we go. So that kind of colour we've got going there. It looks a bit like Cheshire Catish. Then I'm going to take that same fluffy brush. I'm going to dip it in the white. That's going to go as my brow highlight. And it's also going to blend those two colours sort of at the top I definitely like to use fluffier brushes when I'm blending just for ease and stuff I'm also going to blend that there just don't really want any harsh edges with this look
There were other palettes which were one pound fifty each, like this. I can't remember what color combinations they did. This one just really caught my eye, but I'll put a link to where I got this one from. Right. Next, I'm going to take a liner brush, dropping this everywhere, and I think this came from Crown Brushes. It's just a very kind of thick for a liner brush, actually. But yeah, and I'm going to take the blue, which is this kind of quite nice dark cornflower blue, and that's just going to go underneath the lower lash line. I'm not going to take it all the way because I think it's a bit too dark to take all the way and I'm going to get a lighter colour in just a second. There we go. Then for a lighter colour to go sort of on the inner half. Let's see, what have I got? What have I got? Um, I'm going to take this colour from my Gosh palette. And it's the Gosh palette in Aquarius. And it's that pale blue there. I'm just going to take it with the same brush. Just pop it on the inner half there. And blend it in. There we go. Right. Now I'm going to put... What am I going to put? I'm going to put some liner on. I'm going to use Urban Decay's Liquid Liner in Perversion. I'm also going to do my waterline. I'm not going to go for black. I think black would kind of ruin this. It's too it's too colourful. Um, I'm going to use this one by Barry M, which is number 19, and it's just kind of aqua blue, and I'll see you guys in a second. So that's my liners done, and for mascara, I used... 1001 Sills by 1001 Lashes by Bourgeois and for lips I'm going to take Illamasqua's lipstick in Underworld which is a nice purple and mine's just broken great okay so that's my liners done and I also used 1001 Lashes by Bourgeois which looks like that for my mascara which is quite good I find you have to use two coats but it's very good um, for lips I'm going to take extra amps by MAC which is a dazzle glass and I'm just going to give another kind of dimension of the shimmer to the look there we go and then for cheeks I'm going to take elf's shimmering Facial Whip in Pink Lemonade. I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand first. Then you just take a little bit on your finger, dot it along your cheekbones, and then just kind of work it in. And you can put as much or as little as you want. I only want a little bit because it's quite shimmery, and this is already a very shiny look, but it's very nice for sort of the holiday season. Have it sort of kind of shiny party look. Yeah. What have I oh, on the eyes, I just realised I've forgotten to put a, an inner corner highlight. So I'm just going to take that white colour from the e.l.f. palette on my H&M brush. I'm just going to dot that in to the inner corner. And this is going to help to really open up the eyes. Just like that. And I'm also going to place it like quite thickly, just underneath the eyebrows, as a highlight. I'm just going to blend that in a little bit more as well. It's not fantastically blended. And yeah, that's it for my pinky purpley party look. And I will see you guys soon.